<laughs> See, contrary to popular belief, he does sleep. <laughs> there is Dick and Joyce over there. They're celebrating 57 years of marriage, Jerry Van Sickle. You've got no reason to feel exhausted. Imagine all the 57 years of bliss that Joyce has been through. I've spent, I don't know if you know this or not, but I've spent, uh, I've spent 30 years of their marriage with them. Is that right? Right, Dick and Joyce? What was that? I spent 30 years of your 57 years with you. Yeah, that's right. Yep. That's been a test on the marriage, I'm sure, at times. <laughs> well, it was just on the weekends in the summer. You know, I was like, I was like that 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 nephew or that that son that uh, yeah. just kind of came around when needed. She so. called you uh, Jerry's son before. Yes. Before. Yeah. And, and Ryan's son. Yeah, Ryan's son, which sounds a little bit like the Karate Kid. Ah, oh, Daniel's son. Mm, no grasshopper. It's Wednesday, isn't it? I don't it's know. It's Boon Day. It's. It's modified stock car day. That's how I keep things straight. Jerry, how, how do you put this into words? This, this is like nothing I've ever seen in Super Nationals. I've heard train wreck. <laughs> I've heard organized chaos. I've caught the, but I will say this is probably the best. Um, you know, we're we're on track to have over a thousand race cars, and you know. <clears throat> in the words of um, Johnny Gibson, it's often imitated, never duplicated. And the Super Nationals will never be that. I mean, there's people have tried. People have tried to put on big dirt races. Um, they've boasted and they've bragged about it. But when it comes right down to it, the Super Nationals is the biggest and the best. I mean, it. Um, when you look out of the sea of people and, and you know, I see so many new faces this year and so many people that haven't been here. It's like... Uh, you know, it's the Woodstock of, yep. of, of, you know, it's like 1967 all over again. You know, everybody flocks to this big open field in Boone, Iowa, like they did in New York. And it, it it's it, it's a vacation. It's a pilgrimage. It's a, it's a bucket list. It's, um, it's, it's what makes you a hero. I mean, if you win a Super Nationals championship, um, everybody knows who you are. I mean... You can ask somebody who won this race and who won that race and who won the Daytona 500. I mean, it's like that. You can, you know, if you ask somebody who won the, uh, who, well, what year did Dale Earnhardt win the Daytona 500? Everybody knows that date. Everybody knows that year. Yeah. Um, and everybody knows um, if you're a super nationals champion, everybody knows who you are. And it, it isn't like they have, it isn't like you've got to force it at everybody. It's, it, I mean, there's so many eyes. I mean, I don't care if it's, um, you know, big time late model racers, professional late model racers, NASCAR racers. Um, you know, people people watch this event. They, they understand what it is. And um, I just think it's, I mean, it's greatness. I mean, that's what it, I mean, if you put Super Nationals into one word, it's greatness. You said um, organized chaos. There is so much precision clockwork that goes on here. From from the track, we just saw the Dr. Dirt out there before. Like, it's an extremely well-synchronized farming concept, isn't it? Like, the track is fresh 12 hours of the day. Yeah, I mean, this this year, um, you know, I give credit where credit's due, because I, I, I do it now. You know, I, I, I do track prep, and I've always known how to, you know, what goes into it, and, you know, I promote my own racetrack now. I... I it's a lot of work, and everybody always beats somebody up about this or beats somebody up about this, that. But this, by far, has to be. I mean, I have, we've seen some of the we've seen some spectacular mm -hmm. three thirty in the afternoon races under the yeah. hot, beaten sun at ninety degrees um, with a wind straight out of the east. Uh, you know, Rod Rod and his crew have just. I mean, I, I the whole crew, but I mean, you know, it's, it starts with the base, and the base of it for this is is the racetrack and. And Rod is, you know, he takes a beating all year from the locals. But, man, I've talked to so many people, and you hear it every year, that, man, I wish we could have this at home. I wish our racetrack yeah. was like this at home. And they know when they come to Boone, they're going to get a real good surface. They also know when they come to Boone, they're going to get a real good officiating staff when they're on the racetrack. They know they're going to get the, the people that are going to give you timely concessions food. You know, you're not... The only reason you're going to stand in line is because there's 400 people in front of you. It's not because that two people are like, yeah. I mean, it's clip. clip and that starts clip. with the back. It starts with the pit. The way those guys line up those cars back there. Yeah, I mean, any time there's four races in staging, they're hollering four races out. 
Because, I mean, the minute one, you know, the minute the cars go, the minute the last car on the racetrack goes past the staging area over in turn three, the next heat race is on the racetrack. Uh -huh. You know, it, it, we've all we've all timed it out, and even on my weekly shows, and even our weekly shows here at Boone, we, we time it out to where we know that if you were if you waited for a car to go from the opening of the gate to off of the racetrack, you're going to add anywhere from 30 to 40 seconds to your program. Mm -hmm. Imagine taking 30 or 40 seconds over Times like tonight yep. on Wednesday, 800 or not 800, 80 races. Yep, and you add that up. That's how much time you add yeah. to your program, and it's just all about efficiency. Um, IMCA tech inspectors, the oh, work that I mean, they do out there, just to keep the show rolling. I think we, I think we looked at this deal, and um, between volunteer staff, paid staff, IMCA staff, there's almost 300 people that work this event. I mean, there's businesses that don't have 300 employees. No. The, there's very few cautions, and I think that makes a huge difference because if we had a caution for everyone that spun out, it would be a three week super nationals. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's one thing you know, isn't it? If you spin out, you better get your ass out of the way. Yeah, you have to. I mean, we don't. I mean, if you get, you know, a lot of people say, "I can't believe you didn't throw the yellow." If you're below the tires in the corner, you're off the race surface. Mm -hmm. And the race surface is wide enough, Jerry. Yeah, this has got to be one of the widest speedways like I've 80, been to. I mean, it's like it's like seventy or eighty foot wide. I mean. You know, we, you and I talked about it. You know, there's racetracks in Australia that you, but then there's racetracks that there's racetracks that run World of Outlaw Sprint Car races mm -hmm. that aren't as big and as wide as this. That uh, you know don't produce great. They produce good racing, but it's not great racing like we see here. But yeah, there's plenty of room. You know, and everybody always says, well, how come you can't drive under the light poles and come screaming back through there? Well, you yep. hit somebody with your race car in the infield. There's a lot of people in the infield, tech yeah. staff. Corner workers, photographers, I mean, just yeah. people, you know, it's all about safety, too, and um, <clears throat> it's it's crazy. I've been, I haven't missed, I've at least seen one or every day of Super National since 1987. 86, I didn't go with my dad because it was on a Sunday and it was a school night, oh. and it was at Knoxville, you but been. I ended up going um, because no. uh, my dad rode his motorcycle down. And broke the drive shaft out of it at Monroe, so we had. Uh, it was actually we picked it up at the Jersey Freeze, and uh, the old Jersey Freeze, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember we, my mom woke us up. It was like midnight, and we had to drive to almost Knoxville and pick him up and bring the motorcycle back home. And then in '87 we went to Mason City, and then from 1988 on, I have I've maybe missed, you know, during the week maybe. Even when I was going to school, didn't miss too many nights of uh, didn't miss too many nights of Super Nationals. So I, you know, I, I've been I've been here I've been here to every Super National since Boone, and you know, did various things. You know, my dad used to tape the race, you know, video the races here, and then the onside of IMCA TV came along, and he was kind of getting out of it. And then about that time was the time that um, the announcing staff started to change here, and I got the call to become the weekly announcer here. So. Now I now I have no excuse for for missing uh, Super Nationals, and my boss lets me off work every week for this event. So, well, my new boss does. Yeah, well, that that'd be huge. My old bosses they they didn't like it that I was gone for a week because it cost them money, but I didn't really care. I should have fun. That Napa shirt reminds me that we need a Napa. <laughs> Nap, ah, uh, yeah, be good. Uh, now nah, you know a Napa is good during the day, and it, it's fun to get a nap. You know. The chemistry that you and Ryan have uh, as an announcing duo is so vital to what goes on here. When you're doing eight nights in a row for 12 hours a day. To like Hanukkah. <laughs> the Adam Sandler version of Hanukkah. No? <laughs> He's a remarkable person, Jerry, in so many ways. The way, yeah. he, the way he gets the phonetic words, of, like the spelling of names and things. He's very precise, isn't we, he? We, and that's, you know, that's both of us. We, we want to make sure that when you come to Super Nationals, because we don't know all 1,000 drivers. You know, we're lucky enough to know, you know, with Ryan working in the office, he talks to these drivers and sees their names. And I, you know, I a lot of my research and time comes on social media, watching people's Facebooks and Twitters yep. and Instagrams and TikToks and stuff like that, because that's the way everybody puts their deal. And my race pass. I mean, if I don't know who somebody is, I'll type into my race pass yeah. in the search engine and, you know, find, you know, how many nights they've raced, how many wins they've had, how many this and that. And... That's the biggest thing of it is we want to be right. We want to do it right. You know, we want to make sure if your name is spelled 
C Z A R P S K I or what you know however How would you say however Sharapata spells his name, <laughs> you know because you know think I don't know what it is about Wisconsin but those people have like the crazy eighteen letters in their name one vowel so but we can, have, I, can I say curd that's all you need to say curd, cheese curd right, Wisconsin I, like, hey I've got plenty coming I didn't have to understand what that is mate you'll, you'll just, understand this but is, yeah like you know get back to Ryan I mean it's you know I think we just we're best friends. That's the biggest thing, and we talk all the time. We, you know, we're, we're like we're like um, you know we're like other friends. You know, sometimes we don't. Uh, we have little spats, and he'll give me a look, and I'll just shake my head, and uh, vice versa. But at the end of the day, we just want the best product for the. We, we want to showcase the racer. It's not, that's what I. You know, people always come up to us and say, "Man, you got you got." It's not about us, and and I think that's what a lot of people need to realize in life. It's not about you. It's about showcasing other people, and we showcase over this week. We'll showcase over a thousand racers. It's about them, because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't get to do this. You wouldn't get to do this. You'd still be in Australia. It's winter time there. You'd be freezing your your curds off or something. You know, have to have you know. But that's what it's about. It's about the racer, and it's about the racing family. We've seen that a lot here this week, and uh, you know, if it wasn't for that, this wouldn't be any fun. You guys are the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, and I'll let you work out. Lady, which, you know, I'll work out which one. Let you work out which one you are, and it ain't the Dean Martin version. No, no, I'm not the. I, uh, yeah. That's amore. Uh, yeah, it's amore. Yeah, there's the Laurel, Laurel and Hardy. I mean, red shoes. You know. Larry, Curly, and Mo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you. I we still haven't figured out which one all of us three would be. So good to see you, mate. Hey. Happy anniversary for Sunday, Dick and Joyce. Thank you very your, much. Your wedding is a classic Chevy. <laughs> That's right. Can I, yes. can I go back to taking a nap? Yeah, go back to taking a nap. Can I take a nap? <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a nap. Good idea. Boon shakalaka.